he's probably the luckiest guy right now. He he's was struck. Uh, his vehicle was struck. There was multiple rounds on the floor. Um, this, this again, we could have been uh, preparing a funeral right now for this officer. A veteran detective speaks out after at least two gunmen fired at an unmarked vehicle with a Miami-Dade police lieutenant inside. Fortunately, he was not hit. Now the search is on for four men who got away. CBS Force Peter Dench is live at the scene in Northwest Miami-Dade with the latest from detectives there. Peter. Well, Elliot, it all started at 3.37 this morning when a 911 call came in about four armed men in a white car. A Miami-Dade police lieutenant who was nearby spotted that vehicle and started following it until shots were fired by at least two men in that car. This is where a veteran detective says a Miami-Dade police lieutenant could have easily lost his life. It could have been anybody. It could have been someone driving home that just happens to be behind these subjects' vehicle, and they got shot at. Um, that's why these people are very dangerous. The shooters fired at an unmarked car that the undercover officer was in. It was a normal car. It's an undercover car, and no lights, no equipment was, was on, and these guys just pretty much shot. Um, indiscriminately at this vehicle. There could have been any of us. Detectives believe at least two shooters opened fire because they found different shell casings on the scene. And they fired multiple rounds uh, towards the officer's vehicle, not, you know, without any regards for anybody that may have been around in the area. We all know how many um, straight bullets have claimed many lives in our community. Police say there was an anonymous 911 call about four men in a sedan. An undercover officer spotted them and began following them with no emergency lights or sirens on at Northwest 46th Street and 22nd Avenue near Brownsville Elementary School, which was not open. When they got to 48th Street, they just started shooting towards the officer's vehicle. A battery of bullets blew out the officer's front tires, and he was not able to drive more than a few blocks. He's probably the luckiest guy right now. He he's, was struck. Uh, his vehicle was struck. There was multiple rounds on the floor. Um, this, this Again, we could have been uh, preparing a funeral right now for this officer, so we're very glad that we're not. The officer, who was not identified and who has been on the job for 15 years, was not injured. He told investigators the shooters did not get out of their vehicle. You know, these individuals need to be off the streets. They could have killed anybody today. They could have killed an officer. They could have killed an innocent person. They could have killed a person sitting inside their home. And something you'd see out of the Hollywood movies, the bad guys are hanging out the windows, shooting at the police officer. And coming up at 6 in just one hour, we'll hear from Stedman Stahl, the president of the South Florida PBA, and the toll that this type of incident is taking on the recruitment of police officers here in South Florida. The make and model of the shooter's car is not known, but if you can help, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live at Northwest Miami-Dade. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Peter, thanks a lot for that.